But why am I vegan for the animals for 10 years? Well, that's a long story for another 30 years. I was born in 1982. Both parents were lacto vegetarian. That means I've never had meat in my entire life, even through the umbilical cord. Both parents being lacto vegetarian Hare Krishnas, my dad would look at an ingredients gelatin pectin, bovine, or porcine, within the bone marrow. You have this jelly substance and you're eating it, turning it into kit, selling it off to children. By the age of five, I knew the word contamination. I had to, even at school, they didn't know what a vegetarian was. Thin slices of ham, they thought that might be vegetarian, or they, they thought a chicken was vegetarian, or a fish. They would be used to having their families eating meat every day. Grains, fruit, veg, nuts, legumes, seeds. And then vegetable oils, that does yeah. So my dad, he's, he's always been lacto-vegetarian. My mum was certainly when I was born, but a few years later, and she was always a cheetah. Have egg and rice, and she'd say, close your eyes, but I wouldn't eat that. My sister would. She'd mimic my mum. Just close your eyes and eat it. No way. It smelt. Slimy texture. Nah. My dad would joke that food ingredients would have crocodiles' eyes, dragons' tongues. Even in the playground, every every child grows up with uh, telltale tit, tongues gone split, and all the puppy dogs are gonna have a bit of it. Girls are made out of sugar and spice and all things nice. Boys are made out of slugs and snails and puppy dogs' tails. Stories made made by the Hare Krishnas, they would, because the cow is so sacred, you, know, you can never have a burger. Sweet stories about a, a baby calf that was rescued from a, from a butcher. A kid connects animals uh, just the same as humans, the same as our friends, that we wouldn't eat our friends, we're not cannibals. Why is the Indian cow perceived as a sacred mother? You give her just grass, and she gives back so much. Ice cream, butter, cheese, buttermilk, uh, ghee, clarified butter, meal balls. They were the sacred father. It would be 1993. Linda McCartney food. So Paul McCartney, they were looking out of their mansion in the fields, eating lamb. And they see in their field the spring lamb frolicking. They look at the lamb, they look at the food, and think, can I eat that now? They decided to be vegetarian from then on. And you have the Paul McCartney saying, every water house should have glass walls so that everybody can look in, see what it's all about. In my parents' time, they would, they would have school trips in the northeast of England to go to an abattoir. And if you saw one drum filled with big carcasses and supposed to be supposed to be sausages then that's that's sausages out the window for you for, you, for life never eat a sausage if you saw burgers it's burgers out for year linda mccartney range corn which was egg base so i couldn't have veggie burgers spicy bean burgers bread crumbed chips but potato but actually filled with tomato sauce in the middle. That had been the, the first highly available Western processed food. A lot less food colorings, dyes, chemicals. Wouldn't have had flavor enhancers then, I don't think. Pot noodle, that was suitable for vegetarians where they didn't even have the, the vegan mark, but was, was vegan anyway, even chicken crisps, chicken pot noodles. To check the, up, the update, the ingredients, they change them all the time. Bear in mind, I was first drunk on my seventh birthday. Come to think of non-vegetarian alcoholic drinks. Some meaty liqueurs, floating lizard inside. Certainly at that time, 
Guinness beer, for example, used to have isinglass bladders of a fish. Why? Does it make it taste better? Does it make it look better? Well, they don't do it anymore. 14, I was finding these vegetarians getting mad cow disease, even if they supposedly never had meat in their life, like me. So they've had, they've had jellied sweets, a Kreutfeld Jakobs disease, the human variant that came from BSE, bovine spongiform encephalopathy. So Britain was the, or one of the, first countries to to have this mad cow disease or foot mouth disease it's because of feeding animals to animals feed a sheep to a sheep you get scrapies you feed a pig to a pig poor seen fever feed a cow to a cow get mad cow disease to find out more than see dr gregor's 2008 free book before he pulled it off uh, to be re-updated for the for the covid and zoonotic diseases is what it is where it all came from. Nasty disease. Cross fingers. I've been such a strict vegetarian that I don't have this dormant CGD in my system. I'd rather live 150 years and looking at blue zone groups. I had a student loan. I had money coming in to support myself. Here yeah, you can do a lot more things. I'm driving the supermarkets myself. I could spend hours looking at all the ingredients. And Greg's, if there was anything even glazed with egg. I couldn't have anything of that. A sandwich shop that wasn't all full of meat. It had some exotic stuff. Mango chutney. Crisps, walkers, so uh, to most of the rest of the world it's called Lears. Had vegetarian foods then. Always kept my eye out for for cheese flavoured. If Renin or Rennet. Scrapings of the intestinal walls of the, the calf or curdled with a citric acid pill. I still thought cows were all with the mothers, uh, with the baby cows all their life. McDonald's were, still would have had the beef burgers with a hundred different cows mixed in, each one no older than two years old because after that it gets too much muscle. Crisps, I remember ringing them up and saying that they, they should have more vegetarian options and then we had Watchdog on the TV, people complaining, brought in loads of vegetarian crisps with the, with the V sign on. A few years later, I think by 21, it, it reverted. So the prawn cocktail was just tomato sauce flavour. And uh, the beef didn't have real beef, the chicken not real chicken. There was a time when I transitioned from vegetarian to vegan without knowing. 2006 I was a, a worker on the oil rigs as a day trench and angeologist. There was a bodybuilder that said I should drink soya milk. It's got tons of protein. I found it. It was by Alpro. At that time I remember we're in the ingredients which, which are nothing like the ingredients are today. There were 13.5% of dehusked soybean. Now they've just diluted that. Exactly one pound per litre, one carton. 33 grams of protein. That was more than a quarter pounder select rump steak. And then came out the Alpro yogurt. The vanilla custard chocolate, caramel, and a double chocolate toffee. I had replaced me milk with soya milk. Replace me yogurt with double chocolate I'll brew soya. I've never had eggs because that's a that's a poultry's menstruation not just a byproduct. I've had fish because they're animals too. I used to laugh at vegans. I'd think they were too over the top. Not eating honey. Bees are not animals. 2003 the Durham University Student Union help they had in the computer record the vegetarian meals and they even had vegan meal it said vegans do not eat honey because it's a byproduct animals and I thought well that computer's wrong but well, of course they are they're, they're the animal kingdom they're not the plant kingdom the same myth that meat eaters have of vegetarians that the scrawny, wasting away, 
that was what I thought as a vegetarian against vegans. 2010 where I just saw a clip of Earthlands made us feel sick to my stomach. The reality and it's not just one or two farms here and there. It's most farms, it's factory farms around the world. It wasn't, it still wasn't overnight finding the odd vegan cake, which was delicious. I had to go to my neighbouring city, Newcastle, because nothing existed in Sunderland. Not even a health shop in the whole of the city of Sunderland. But early inspiration was a musician, Moby, still canon, great mind. Everything he says about veganism, top notch. He had a CD sleeve, listed notable vegetarians. Gandhi, maybe Hitler at the time, but that's false. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Anyway, I remember an interview of his, which, why he was vegan. He cheated by eating a yogurt, and he felt so bad about it, knowing about the the suffering of the, the cow and the enforced pregnancy of the, the mother cow to create a child in an endless cycle for, for five or six years until she's not producing enough milk efficiently enough so she gets scrapped to the knackers yard for her. I went to Egypt on holiday at Sharm el Sheikh food, drink and accommodation all together waste of money. I was teetotal by then anyway I didn't drink. They had everything didn't have the soya milk, didn't have the soya yogurt. I ate that yogurt. So, although I might have thought I had transitioned to vegan, I was never never even vegan to that point. I was still a pro-vegetarian because a vegan can never roll back. You just plant beast. I was truly vegan after that time. 2000 and 11. Shout out to Ian Narvanen. Been helping us turn, us turn us vegan. He was manager of a, of a backpackers youth hostel in Belfast. He cooked a vegan Christmas meal. And I thought, this tastes really good. Whereas before I, I wouldn't care anyway. I'd have extra Brussels sprouts. I've had just vegetables. I'd have a pizza or vegetarian pot noodle vegan for the animals no turning back it's when your whole philosophy not for egotistical health or a bit wealth not that wealth is an issue for a vegan because it's actually cheaper if you're not buying super processed food I'm a very lazy cook but I'm not entirely a junk food vegan either because I did have vegans in in Belfast the vegan Belfast group and although there were hundreds, only six to eight, we would get together, have a pub quiz, eat something together once in a while. They're uh, very important to do whatever you can to either surround yourself with other vegans or do something for the animals. Volunteer for a charity or even better a company that doesn't call itself a charity so has the UK law to lobby against the government and actually change rules, actually change laws for the benefit of animals and therefore humans too. So I was the or one of the first school speakers for Animal Aid UK in Northern Ireland that is. They've been in the UK for since 77 donkey's years. It's still a vegetarian organization. And a few years later I was over the moon because they turned fully vegan. We'd volunteer to whatever the teachers asked for. Popular was cooking a meal, so home economics class. I was there helping the real cook. Sorry if I forget your name. Vegan chili con carne. Con carne sin carne. It's Spanish con carne. It's with meat. But con carne in the UK is just flavouring to disguise the meat. So sin carne means without meat. So Asha made the vegan mince meat. Yeah. Saw your chunks, in other words. I was helping with a, a slideshow of why be vegan. 
the biggest animals on the earth that were also herbivores, like gorillas and giraffes and elephants. That's what we all need to do, even as a meat eater. Research where your food comes from. Don't turn a blind eye. Look at really what's happening. The corruption. Follow the money. Follow the pain. Realise animals are the same as humans. 2012 Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness. That'll help. Challenge22.com Doesn't matter if you start for your health. The philosophy will come with it. The more you research, the more you realise we all need to be vegan for the animals.